are you? Time for the musical, huh? Yes. <laughs> it is that time. All right, everyone. I just hit uh, record here. I am Andrew Morata, the principal at the middle school. Thank you for joining our student staff uh, or student parent information night. This is specifically for seventh graders. And I just want to go over some specific things for the seventh graders. And then um, uh, we will have some uh, uh, Q&A, okay? So the first thing is we are a week away from the, the close of the third quarter. The, the third quarter closes um, at, what is today? Tomorrow is the 14th. Yeah, the 21st, next Friday. And then the kids will get their third quarter report card. So kids, we are coming down the stretch. You are almost halfway done with your middle school career. Um, all of our parents look back at the middle school and say, oh, my God, how the heck did we do it? So you're almost halfway done, okay? Give yourself a little pat on, on the back here, all right? Now I'm going to share my screen. Again, uh, if there's questions, uh, put them in the chat, uh, and then uh, I can't see you while I'm presenting. So if you're raising your hand, there's a little raise the hand thing. Um, I'll get to it when we're done, okay? If you want to unmute, if I'm in the middle of something and you want to do that, you can, okay? Um, this was our theme this year, and it was ironic, again, with the construction and us coming together, moving full steam ahead together. You may or may not have heard me tell the story. This is our new art teacher, Miss Weed, uh, who teaches the seventh graders. Uh, this was in her application when I said, hey, show me your representation of Port Pride. Oh, that's someone trying to get in the meeting. Let me try to let them in. Mashir's joining us. Awesome. There we go. Hi, Mashir. Um, so uh, this was part of her interview, and she came up with this about an hour after the interview, which I, I was so impressed by. If you look there, it's got the Erie uh, uh, there, the, the the train station, and obviously the Port Pride there. And uh, so, and that's what we're doing, we're moving full steam ahead. Uh, parents that are on here, this is what we've asked your kids. These are district wide uh, that they're reviewed, they're talked about, and and uh, the things that we ask uh, of the kids during the day, uh, on the weekends, you know, certainly with their families as well. So. Uh, here's what we're doing tonight. Just going over a couple of uh, things right now, uh, a couple of things for next year, a couple of best practices, and then I want to have some Q and A uh, with everyone. I, I envision will be about a half hour. Or so, students, I know you don't really love this. Uh, when you're older, you understand. I hope the parents are happy with it. It has been night and day from last year. I know you weren't with us last year at the middle school. Um, night and day, and for the most part students, you're doing a pretty good job. Uh, there's a couple kids that we know trying to hide them or whatever, uh, but for the most part, and for parents, we get to see the kids being kids, and it's awesome. Uh, you know, my daughters are old enough now, starting to have some sleepovers, right? And my wife and I, one thing we do with the sleepovers is, hey, girls, you know, we're putting the phones in the basket for, for the next three hours, the next two hours, uh, and that's something we do. It's great to see the kids playing and interacting as kids, so uh, we hope you were happy with that, and uh, we certainly were from the, the school side of it. So, uh, A couple of things for right now. We are having our field day coming up the, the end of June. That's a fun event. We're going to have a couple more open gyms too, students. I'll announce those dates coming up. Um, those have been a lot of fun. This The middle one is not finalized. I didn't want to put it on there, but I also parents didn't want you to be surprised. But what? You know, we're looking at a field trip in May. Um, we're putting the final touches on it. We're trying to get the funding for the busing, uh, and I'm hoping that should come through, um, and, and we're going to take a trip. If, if for some reason it doesn't, we're going to do something locally where we don't need buses, but um, we're working on that for May, okay? And that's with Ms. Mieskuch, your advisor. And lastly, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the finals, okay? Uh, one of the things that's coming up, students, the guidance counselors and the foreign language uh, uh, teachers will be in uh, where you do make your choice of foreign language. What, you know, what language do you want to learn? Uh, and it is a, a high school credit. It is a high school requirement. Uh, and we certainly encourage the kids to continue in high school. Uh, I lived one year in Italy and I learned Spanish and it was a life changer. When I started teaching in New York City, uh, I had many Spanish speaking students would just show up 
you know, uh, uh, immigrant, Mexican immigrants or immigrants from other parts of the country. And in, even this year in our middle school students, you know, there are a number of Spanish speaking students and it is, um, is uh, you know, beneficial to be able to comunicado con estudiantes que habla español. And I'm happy that I could speak just un poco de español. Um, so that's coming up. Parents have a conversation with them. If the kid doesn't choose, uh, it'll be it'll be chosen for them. So it is uh, a mandatory class they take next year. Okay. Um, students, you're in middle school now. You know, you didn't really have finals kind of when you were elementary school. It was a little different. You are going to have content finals. They do make up 20% of your grade, right? You have your four quarters. And then, uh, you know, the, the 20 percent of the grade, each at twenty percent, which you know total. So that's a big chunk. That's a big thing. So we do try to get the students while it's getting warmer and people are excited for summer, getting them dialed in. Uh, it is important uh, there, uh, and they're they're longer exams. Our periods are forty minutes. They're they're kind of longer exams, getting them ready for high school and, and things like that. So they will start on these half days. Uh, parents, that's the Wednesday, uh, the 14th, and there'll be uh, half days all the way until the last day on the 23rd. Um, those will be 11 a.m. dismissals. The kids will be served lunch. They'll have a final, probably one class, and then, uh, you know, some recess and, and, and uh, lunchtime there. So um, I'll pause here now. I'll stop uh, sharing any questions about finals and or um, – Anything I spoke about so far, I'll jump in the chat, see if there's anything here. And again, folks, if you think of something or you didn't want to say it in the public meeting, you certainly can email, you can reach out, uh, check with guidance, check with your kids, teachers, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, but I want to do want to have some dialogue here. All right, let me go back to sharing the screen. Okay, where are we? Okay. Um, this uh, is ongoing. Those applications did go out. Uh, they are uh, kind of uh, due, I think, coming up, students. Any of you that applied, it, I think the deadline is coming up in, the, in a week or so that they have to turn those applications in. Um, your child was invited if they had a 90 or higher in the first two quarters, that's the starting point uh, of them. And then there's some service, there's some character points in there, uh, things like that. We know it is challenging for younger people to get that service time and credit, uh, but we certainly are encouraging it. Um, this is a great thing. Students, if you didn't get invited this year because your average wasn't there or you don't get in for some reason, I strongly encourage you to work at it for next year and give it another crack, give it another shot. It's a nice thing, the National Junior Honor Society, um, and we, we want kids to, to strive for that and push for that. So um, parents, if they like didn't bring the letter home or whatever, uh, and if you wanted to know if they were eligible, I mean, you certainly could tell from their report card, but, um, you know, those, those uh, things will be coming out, and we want the kids to turn in uh, a good application, okay? Um, we're adding some honors classes for next year. Uh, traditionally, we've had math and science advanced classes, meaning they would take algebra next year and they would take uh, living environment. Those are high school regents classes and they would take them in eighth grade. We're also adding uh, eighth grade uh, social studies and English honors. And we sent a letter home about it. And here is the, the rubric uh, of what the criteria is of the kid being selected. Um, the teachers are kind of going over it through class. And again, we sent that home uh, and the kids will be notified in June, the end of June, because uh, again, the finals are coming in uh, about their acceptance. Uh, and parents, we want you to be involved and, and understand the process. Um, and we want to set that criteria and have kids reach that. So we're excited for that. We're excited to continue to advance our academics and uh, that's coming for next year. Uh, coming up now are the New York State exams, okay? Uh, and students, I say, you know, it's kind of like eating your vegetables, right? Some of them you like. Most of them you don't really like. 
but in the end, they're good for you. Okay. Some of you really kind of like the math problems and that kind of stuff. Some, you know, uh, some people like taking formal state exams. Other people can't stand them. Parents and kids, here's what I'll say about the uh, the option to opt out, right? I, I'm a parent. I have two middle schoolers myself. Um, you know, we're, 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 we're put to the test for the rest of our lives, right? Parents, we have responsibilities, you know. Uh, but as we're going through school, as we're going through college, as we're going through high school, we're constantly put through it. This is your one of the first kind of measuring sticks for you. Um, so here are a couple of points, right? Uh, we are a middle school. We are cited by New York State. We're a middle school in need of improvement. And one of the things is that we don't have enough kids taking the exam. So I uh, offer a few explanations here about why you should, right? You know, parents, it's kind of like a, a contagious cough. One kid says, well, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it, right? These are some things that you should take it. It is a good practice of taking a formalized state exam. They don't go on your report card. It's not you're not you're not getting a grade that goes on your report card. Your Regents exams in high school goes on your report card. It goes on your transcript. This is to measure where you are, where the school is, right? Where is our grade level? Um, you know, we're, we're really focusing on our literacy, um, kids' reading levels. The kids know about IXL. When you hang up, if you want your kid to show you your your I, their IXL and what they're doing there. Uh, but this is another measure. You get measured against kids in our district. You get measured against kids in New York State, right, of where your kid is in the percentiles of their learning. So it is important. Um, I'm asking you to uh, uh, have the kids take the test. Uh, and, again, here are the dates. Um, and it's in the morning. The kids know the routine. Um, we'll take them in the morning. They'll stay in their homerooms. Uh, they're on the computer unless there's an accommodation otherwise. And put your best foot forward, right? Push your best foot forward there. You get those results, I think, in August or September. So um, those are coming up. English is first and then math, okay? Um, and then, again, I'll stop here uh, in a minute. And we'll go through some of these things. Um, tomorrow's a Port Pride Friday, so we want to see you wearing black and red. But our character ed trait this month is uh, friendship. And we wear red on Wednesdays. Um, students that have participated, it's just a nice thing. It's a nice uh, talking point for us to, to work with the kids. Uh, and Mr. Wilson has done a, a, a great job. And I don't know, it, it, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing that we do in the school. Uh, there's another dance coming up. They have been tremendous. We've loved it. Um, we're debating doing this one out on the patio at ASK. We'll see. Uh, but we'll probably be in the cafeteria again. Uh, they've been a lot of fun. So we hope you come and, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of good stuff here. So uh, parents, uh, you know, I don't know if you knew this. We do offer AIS uh, after school, uh, Monday through Thursday, and it's in each different subject area. Again, those report cards are coming out. If your kid has a maybe not so stellar grade in one of the topics, one of the content areas, you know, what can you do? Obviously, you could stay after with that teacher, but we do have specific after-school AIS um, programs. And then there are a number of co-taught classes where that teacher is in there to provide academic intervention for students in need. So um, that is happening and the help is there. Students, you know, we, we, we want you to do well in school. The help is there. Um, we need you to put the work in, uh, again, if the grades are not where they are uh, need to be, okay? Um, building project. If you live in town, you're driving over that way, you, you've seen it. Um, the way they're calling the building uh, is in section A, B, and C. So if you're looking at the middle school, um, the new section where the new big gym is and the new front entrance and all of that, that is section A. The old middle school right in the middle is section B. And then the old part where the auditorium was is section C. Uh, a and B are coming along really well. They are going to start C next year, um, but it's really cool. There are some great uh, things on our website where they take you in. They have pictures, really cool stuff. Uh, it is coming together. And the goal is that ASK moves there as a K through five building in September of 2024. Uh, the middle school, if you didn't know this, is going to become a six seven, uh, six, seven, and eight middle school, and will be housed at ASK. 
So they are going to name this new school. Um, and um, they're looking to, they might have some parts of it open next year around uh, New Year's time, uh, you know, that New Year's break, Christmas break. Um, and they might have sections of it open. It is going to be beautiful. If you have younger kids uh, that are that are coming up, it, it's going to be great. Uh, I'm thrilled. Someone who's been 20 years in Port Jervis, I'm so thrilled. Um, and, and lastly, you know, our budget vote, right? There's so many new projects, so many new upgrades that are coming. Um, our district leadership team has done a great job. The money, if you have questions about how are they paying for this, because it's not going to impact your taxes, which is incredible, watch the board meetings. Definitely watch the next board meeting on April 20th. Go, go to the board meeting, ask questions. Um, Dr. Bell, Mr. Tim are going to do another presentation, but the vote is there. Uh, and please get out and vote. Um, you know, I, I don't, people say, I'll oh, get out of the vote. I want you to vote yes. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to say, it. you know, we want good things for our community. And uh, uh, there's a number of new facility uh, things on there. So get out the vote uh, on May 16th. All right, students, I'm going to tell a little story here. Who wants to unmute and tell me the name of the actor on the side over there? Don't all unmute at once. Tom Cruise. There you go. Was that Mrs. Nolan? Thank Tom you. Tom Cruise. Yes. <laughs> we all know who that is. But who you don't know is Tom Mapether, right? Tom Mapether from New Jersey. We don't know who that is. Tom Mapether from New Jersey was a tremendous wrestler, really good wrestler, was definitely going to go Division I wrestling in, in uh, college. He always wanted to play football. So he went out for the football team uh, in his junior year, and he tore up uh, his knee, and he couldn't wrestle. Uh, it was actually a senior. Couldn't wrestle his senior year. Got hurt in football, couldn't wrestle. So here's this guy that was a stud wrestler on the team um, and couldn't wrestle. So now he's bored. He's a little depressed. He's like, oh, yeah, what am I going to do? Someone said, hey, man, hey, Tom, you're really good. Why don't you go out for the play? He goes out for the musical, was a wrestler his whole career, never never did anything with the music, goes out for the music, loves it, does a really good job. Who would have thought there was a talent agent from uh, New York City in there? They liked him. They brought him to do some acting in New York City. And years later, once Tom Mapether really got into the acting and, and uh, uh, presenting, they said, hey, man, you need a new last name. We're going to change it to Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise was never even an actor, but he tried something in high school that changed the course of his life. Google that. That's a true story. So students, I ask you, look at all those topics up there, right? Find the right blend. Find the right happy medium of the academics. What clubs do you go to? What sports are you playing? Oh, I'm not athletic. You know what? There's a lot of kids uh, that went out for the track team that aren't maybe the, you know, the greatest athletes, but they can run. And they can throw, and they want to be part of a team. Um, we have a huge track team, right? Um, different clubs and activities. How are you managing when you get home from school? Parents, I'm sure you, you know, you, you know, kind of fight with your kids just like I do mine. Your TV, the computer, the screens, the phone, right? Today was a beautiful day. I'm sure you said, "Hey, put your phone down and go outside and play." Parents and kids, uh, this last one here, reading 15 minutes a night. Another story, years ago when I was the high school principal, I spoke to the valedictorian's parent. We were walking off stage together uh, after graduation. And I said, hey, man, how, how did you do it with your kid? How did you, you know, get them to be the valedictorian? She's incredible. And his answer was 15 minutes a night, Mr. Marana. When she was younger, we made her read 15 minutes a night. And, yes, yeah, sometimes you have to read for English class, but read things you like, students. Put a timer on. That's not a lot. Parents, it's a great habit. It's a great tool. And sometimes we got to make them do it. And the last one, it's a little cut off there. Service projects. Um, Port Jervis is going to the honor flight this Saturday. Students, I don't know if there's any more room on the bus, um, but those opportunities are out there um, to, to volunteer and to provide service in the community. So we strongly recommend that you find the right, right blend and, and, you know, Middle school goes fast. Your, your high school goes fast, right? You're only going to be a Raider for five more years, kids, five more years. Um, here are a couple little just kind of 
best practices, best kind of habits, right? Try to enjoy the journey, enjoy the things that you're doing now. Um, Because the habits that you have now are similar when you get older. Yeah, you can change, you know. But if you're someone that really likes waking up early and you you kind of have those habits when you get older. If you're someone that, you know, likes a lot of activity, a lot of variety, you, you kind of keep some of those same habits as you get older. Parents, I encourage you to have the conversation with your kid. If you're not yet, I'm not here to tell you how to parent. I'm here to tell you these are some best practices. Limits on the phone, that the phone shuts off at 8.30, 9 o'clock. It shuts off. Um, the apps, certain apps, Snapchat, these other ones, they shut off. They have the kid has a certain amount of time. Um, and, and I beg you and I, I ask you, charge your phone downstairs. Charge your phone in your parents' room. Parents, they say, oh, I need the alarm clock. Oh, I use a sound machine to help me sleep. We had those things before there was phones, you know. So get the phones out of the room at night. If your kid is saying, no way, if you... I'm, I'm, I'm pleading with you to get the phone out of their, out of their room uh, at night. That's a fight here we have in my house, but the kids know that it's, it's the, that what the answer is. They keep asking. So, uh, And lastly, uh, we have this passport for good. Students, show your parents uh, uh, on their class link when we hang up. Uh, that is a spot where they can um, track their service hours, track the clubs they're in, track the activities, that when you do apply for different things, you have it all right there. That's a great little tool that we have, okay? Um, and go port. All right, I will stop sharing now, and um, I will stop recording. Stop presenting. If you were watching uh, uh, virtually, thank you very much. I'm going to stop recording now. And...